It's a pleasure to meet both of you. Um, you the one thing I have to, I, that I absolutely loved in this movie is the lighting. Oh yeah. I, cool. Can you please tell me the inspiration behind that and like what you guys were going for? Yeah. Yeah. We uh, one of our our operative words making this movie was fun, mm. and and that went into all of the sort of decisions that we made. And we went is every time we made a decision, we were like, is that fun? <laughs> and so we tried to make the lighting really fun. Mm. And we looked a lot to Asian cinema sure. for um, inspiration, just because I feel like they push it further. And it's more colorful and more expressive, and we tried to make it like. You know, New York City, this colorful neon wonderland. Mm -hmm. For you guys, what is the pros versus cons of having one versus two directors? I haven't really stumbled on cons, mm -mm. to tell you the truth. I mean, a lot of pros. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> pros. I feel like it's a really hard process, and I, I would be pretty scared doing this without my best friend. Yeah. You know? We've sort of, I mean, we've grown up together doing it <laughs> as a team, so it's hard to imagine not doing it that way. We have, you know, we can do good cop, weird cop, <laughs> bad cop, bad cop. Mm -hmm. Whatever the situation no good calls cop. for. Yeah. Very There's... good cop, excellent cop. <laughs> <laughs> you know. yeah. Good cop, retired cop. <laughs> <laughs> you get too old for this is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that terrifies me about this movie, though, is how close we are to this type of technology. What is, what, how, do you how close do you think we are to it? I mean, I think the technology for this game to exist is there. Sure. And when, when we first started making the movie, it wasn't. Like, Periscope hadn't come out yet, so mm -hmm. we weren't sure that live streaming video was good enough for yeah. a game like this. Mm -hmm. It was a little far-fetched, but now it's not. Yeah. yeah. But that's why when you start on a technology movie, you have to make predictions a couple years in advance because it takes two years for the movie to come out, you know? Well, one of the tones or you know, elements you guys address is what I call hiding behind the keyboard. Whereas, you know, anonymous, like that, wh how different do you think this world would be if you couldn't do that? We wouldn't have a career. <laughs> <laughs> Catfish would have never happened. Sure. You know? Um, I, I think that that's a really interesting concept, which is there are, there's a duality, I think, in all of our lives, which is there's, there's us right here, right now, and then there's the way you act um, uh, in your online persona. Mm -hmm. You know, and now you have many online personas, the way, the way you act on Twitter, the way you act on Facebook, on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Vine, on Snapchat, and I think we all go through something when we make those decisions. Is this me? Mm -hmm. Is this who they want me to be? And it's really confusing, so the yeah. movie's an exploration of that. You guys, uh, there's, there's some great shots in this film uh, on high rises and looking down and stuff like that, and which to me look real. <laughs> Did someone actually go up on those things and get those shots, or is it all CGI? Um, no, yeah, we no, went man, up there. Many of them are real. And who got those? Because unless Dave Franco is crazier than I think he is. I think the ones you're talking about are very high up. Yeah. Those were we got those by uh, taking a camera, putting it on a crane, and extending it over the edge of a very oh, wow. tall building. Yeah, like 75 floors over Sixth yeah. Avenue. Uh, it would give me the jitters. <laughs> but Emma really did get up on that ladder, and, oh. and go across. With with no restraints or anything, I'm sure. One wire. <laughs> One wire. Yeah. A kite string. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys have, uh, there's a great scene about getting tattoos, and, and I think tattoos tell a lot about a person. Uh, do you guys have any tattoos? And if you don't, what would you get? We get a little tattoo for almost every movie we do. Oh, wow. Just a little mm -hmm. signature, because it's always a, a long experience. And, uh, and it helps you decide, is that movie worth it? What did you get for this one? Tattoo? I haven't, I haven't got gotten it. I think yeah. we're going to do it on Tuesday. This is from Catfish, this little guy right there. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, from, uh, that's from Catfish for me. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, we're going to have a tattoo artist at the premiere, a guy who was in the movie, actually, who plays one of the watchers. Oh, okay. And you can sit... Uh, he said he's he watched the movie and he's going to interpret something he thinks is small and mm -hmm. significant. You actually made both of your actors uh, sing in this movie. What oh, is your go-to karaoke song? That's such a good question. <laughs> we went out yesterday to Washington Square Park to with Dave and Emma to just dare each other to sing in public. <laughs> sure. And it's terrifying. I love it. You love it? Oh, I love it. Singing in public? Oh, yeah. The karaoke yeah. style. Sure. Yeah. Right. It's good for you, right? Gets okay. your heart going. <laughs> Mine's Eye of the Tiger. Good one. Thanks. <laughs> What's yours? Uh, America, Neil Diamond. Okay. Ah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Gets the party started. Of course. I was considering <laughs> Sweet Caroline yesterday. Yeah. It's like those bar songs. Oh, like, yeah. You know. But I always go with like the softer, more introspective ones. It's like tough. Like uh, Bruce Springsteen's I'm on Fire. That's a good one, too. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. It's more for just like you and me right here in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure meeting both of you guys. Thank you so much. That was fun. Thanks. Good questions. <laughs>